when the price of good X is 15, the quantity demanded of good Y is 2,000. Right? So price of X is 15, quantity Y is 2,000. And when the price of good X is 10, the quantity of Y is 3,000. What can we conclude about those two goods? Are they? What happens here? First, of, first of all, can we say whether they're normal or inferior by having this information? All right, because normal or inferior refers to the income elasticity. So it's as income changes what happens to point to demand of a certain good. What do we call uh, the elasticity when we have price changing in one good and affecting the quantity of the other? What was the, the term for that? What type of elasticity? The cross price elasticity, right? And so what, what, what is it here? Is it positive or negative? So as the, look what happened. As the price of good X went down, the quantity demanded for good Y went up. So as one goes down, the other goes up. So the cross price elasticity would be positive or negative? In that case, negative. In that case, positive. No, that's not true. What is the what is the formula for cross price elasticity? The percentage change in quantity y versus the percentage change in price of X. So the price of X is changing in which way? Is it going up or down? So this quant this thing, whatever it is, is negative. So and negative. this thing is what side? Positive. positive. So the negative. cross price elasticity is negative, which implies that the goods are? I think of this, so the price of a good goes down, right? So it's now cheaper to buy that good. So I buy more of it, for sure, of that particular good, because that's just down on sloping demand curve. But then at the same time, this other good, I also buy more of it as well. So what kind of relationship must exist between those two goods for that to happen? Confluence, right? Peanut butter and jelly. jelly. Peanut butter is now cheaper, so I buy more of it, but because jelly goes with it well, I'm gonna buy more of that as well. Okay, so those are complements. Another way to, to check that would be, let's let's say we have clear substitutes like Pepsi and Coke, right? Pepsi and Coke. Uh, Pepsi go, the price of Pepsi goes down, right? What what do you expect the quantity demanded of Coke to do? Increase or decrease? It's now cheaper to buy Pepsi. So I would buy more Pepsi, right? Yes. Which means that I would buy less Coke. And this is not what we have here. Right? So those are not substitutes, they're complements. So which means when the price of elasticity is negative, it's gonna be complement. The cross price elasticity, yes. And when it's positive, then we have substitutes. 